as I am drinking my drink quite right quickly. There was a 74 mast set up by Gun Macquarie and 1811, the little cottage behind that support cabin, Captain's Cottage. <laughs> It was a beautiful Saturday afternoon so we headed into town and had some lunch at Customs. Actually it was more like a snack at Customs. Some oysters, Kilpatrick, a little bit on the small side and some dips and breads. Just a little update for this afternoon. We're sitting across at Customs and I saw the sign for the afternoon cruise for an hour. He's gone on fells, we're gonna die. And I said to Jeff, let's do it. And guess what? We're doing it and you're coming with us. They are known as Hobart Historic Cruises now and we'll leave a link in the description. If you hear us refer to it as Captain Fells, that's the little side name that we've always given it because it used to be the Fells boat. Perfect day for a cruise. Not only wasn't there a cloud in the sky, the waters were really smooth as well. It can get rough out here on the Derwent at times, but today, not a chance. The ship's stern, you can look up inside there, loading the business on at the moment. We did have the HMAS Canberra in at the time because this weekend they were celebrating or commemorating the Battle of the Britain. It can get a bit cold out on the water, so if you are going to do a cruise in Hobart, make sure you bring a coat. In fact, most of the time it's four seasons in one day, so bring whatever you can to cover the four seasons. This is what's left of the old floating bridge and the Comorants have taken up nesting in this one. Up until 1906 all the boilers in Hobart were run on firewood, not coal, Tasmanian coal, pretty poor quality. This is a view of Belle Reve Village, just across from Hobart. If you are here for any time, make sure you sweep across and check out some of the older buildings. This is Victoria Esplanade. There are some beautiful buildings along here and there's a really lovely walk up around this bend and down to Bell Reef Beach. It's time to start heading back toward town. This cruise goes for about an hour and a half if you're wondering and that goes very quickly. We just crossed the line. Sydney <laughs> to Hobart Yacht Race <laughs> and we're winning. Jeff's worried because he's went and bought another drink which we could have done 20 minutes ago and we're nearly at port. <laughs> Like I was saying, as I just finished off my last bit of drink, if you are in Hobart and looking for something to do, take a morning or an afternoon cruise on Captain Fells. You'll find them down just across from Customs House of Salamanca. Definitely well worth a visit. So come and have a little bit of a look-see. Why, you ask? Fully stocked bar. Great commentary from the captain. Toilets. Whilst on your cruise, you will get a fantastic commentary about all the history in the area. If you take a north cruise or a south cruise, you will get different stories depending on where it is that you're passing by. It's an opportunity for you to find out a little bit more about what's happening around Hobart. <laughs> I might just add that the cruise that we just went on cost us $28 each. 
You'll find all the cruises and adventure tours down on the wharf. If you take a little walk, whether you're arriving here by cruise or whether you're staying in a hotel down along the wharf, you'll see lots of outlets for purchasing tickets on a range of tours. This is just one of them that we're sharing with you today. Favorite thing about the cruise before? Uh, Eight dollar bourbons. Yeah. Um, and now we've come into Salamanca, which is notorious for expensive drinks. And we've come to the Whale, which is the ex Nobbies, not Woods, and uh, fourteen dollars fifty. And you can get Carlton Draft or Cascade Draft, which is unusual because it's all um, craft beers along here. They don't sell mainstream beers, but um, yeah, good to actually have. Normal drinks at good prices. Anything else about the cruise? Oh. <laughs> you went off on a tangent. Yeah. Um, oh, look, probably the um, the company was all right. So, the uh, the skipper, who looked like the skipper from um, Gilligan's Island, <laughs> he asked us when we got off, oh, I hope you enjoyed that, guys. And we said, Yeah, it was great. And he said, Where are you from? And we said, uh, Across the river. And he looked a little bit sort of surprised and thought, but good, no, it was good. Good entertainment. Com he did, he was funny. Commentary was great, it was uh, good history and um, yeah, good line. It was um, nothing, nothing I didn't know, but um, yeah, it was good. Very good. There was lots that I didn't know. Yeah, because you're silly. <laughs> And now that we've disembarked from our adventure, we're on another one and you know where this usually ends up. Our first stop is the Wyla Hotel. We recommend this as one of our favourites and you are able to sit outside. There's a huge big range of tables and chairs outside so if you want to enjoy the sunshine you can, particularly on a Saturday when the markets are on. I don't get ripped off. You do. Look, this is half price cocktails. Till what? Till what? Till. Plants. Till. Till plants. <laughs> Until the plants. Oh, it smells good. good. Didn't get my half price cocktail. You see, this is the not so nice side of candy tourists. <laughs> Look like that idiot character of Lord of the Rings, Jeff. So many steps, Jeff. So many steps. Started. We're in Waterloo Street, making our way to Shippies. There it is. Waterloo, I was defeated, you won the war. <laughs> Jeff's killing himself. He doesn't want to join in, he's embarrassed. Are you a food van, are you? Not sure yeah. what's happening. New food van. Yeah. Oh, too much food. Ah. Uh, beef brisket. Beef brisket. Oh, you love that? Oh, yeah. Jeff yeah. likes beef brisket. Go beef. Look at him. He's like a little puppy dog. He's like a Labrador at the back of the van. <laughs> He's as good as woof, mine. Woof, woof, woof. <laughs> <laughs> Glenn's right there with him. Thank you. I reckon <laughs> Jeff and Glenn just signed up for some homeless meals. Signed up for. They're, they're eating food from the homeless. Is it good? Don't worry there. Don't worry there. What about? Why? Well, you reckon it's alright? <laughs> <laughs> it's a fine. He's worried it's alright. It's a fine. It's fine. Yeah, but they give it to us for nothing. Yeah. No, no, because they, they cook too much. They've got bottle, they're finished. They're finished. Homeless. Oh, I'm homeless. <laughs> you tell these guys they're homeless and they think that they fed them because they're homeless and they actually think there's something wrong with the food. Oh my god, you can play with their minds so quickly. Thanks for stopping by. We appreciate that you are supporting the channel. Give us a like, subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next one.